this is just a very brief video showing you how to connect a, a, a Tasmota plug. Uh, we're doing it this from an X-Lite's perspective, but it can be used for any uh, Tasmota plug you've got. So basically, the first thing you need to do is when you plug a new Tasmota plug in that's been pre-flashed with Tasmota, uh, you get a wireless access point. So you can use the use to access that from a mobile phone. In this case, for the video, I'm just doing it from a PC. Uh, so if we look at networks, I can see there there's one called Tasmota. So it'll be called Tasmota something. So if you click on that, it will connect to the actual physical access plug. Just takes a, a couple of seconds. And then once it's connected, you'll get a little splash screen come up and you can see the actual IP address is 192.168.4.1, which is uh, just a default IP address off the range of your normal subnet. But all we need to put in there is you can, if, you, if they're not there, you can just click on scan for Wi-Fi networks and you can see the network, my SSID that I want to connect to. Uh, in this case, is I call mine VirusNet just to keep noisy neighbors off there. So I put virus net in, or you can just click on the actual virus net and that'll add it as well. And then you put in your Wi-Fi access SSID password. And then the last thing we do is just click on save. And that will connect to the, that will now go away and connect if you provided you put SSID in right and your network that will go away and connect to your local network and it gives you then the IP address so that's the IP address that it's kept so it's successfully connected to Wi-Fi and so we're going to go to rather than 192.168.4.1 we're going to go to that it's just being allocated by DHCP so that particular IP address which is 49 now if we open up a browser and just go to that IP address range that we've just seen so 192.168.1.49 that brings us up the actual Tasmota GUI if you like on the actual device and then all we need to do if you look this one is actually a uh, power monitoring one so we can see the voltage quite handy if you've got X lights because you can you can see what your energy usage is in kilowatts. You can see how much watts it's taking and all the rest of it. Quite a, a neat little bonus, if you like. Again, not bad. For, I mean, this thing cost me £12.50, which is pretty cheap. But what we're going to do now is go into configuration. So we're going to configuration. We've already configured. We're only going to pick a couple of these. We're going to go to configure Wi-Fi just to check that what we've put in is correct. So if we configure Wi-Fi, that will take us to the configuration that we've screen we've already seen. But it gives us the option there where we can actually, as well as the the various uh, SSID information, we can actually go in there and change the host name. So it doesn't matter what we call it, but we'll call it, for this one, we'll just call it Xplug1. We'll call it Xplug1, just to give it a name. And then click on Save, and then that will do its little thing. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into configuration again and this time we're going to conf we did configuration wi-fi so we're now going to configure mqtt so we're going there and the host in this case is what we did in the previous video it's the host ip address of the actual falcon pi player because if you remember from the previous videos we put the mqtt broker on there so in our case it's one that obviously also is going to be different but in my case it's going to be 192.168 Dot one dot one seven five, and we're going to leave <coughs> the standard port and we've not put a password on there but what we will do is we'll change the topic so the topic is going to be in our case if you remember from the previous video uh, I set it to just be called power one power one and it could be anything you could be so if you had several of these you could have one that was power one that one that was power two power three X lights power, it doesn't matter what you call it, uh, as long as that topic matches with how you've set it up in the playlist in the previous video, then we're good to go. So we click on uh, save, and then it says the device will restart in a few seconds. If you can be patient, I'll just click on menu again. So we've done that, so let's the next one go back into configuration. And this, so we've done configure Wi Fi, we've done configure MQTT. 
So now we're just going to ignore some of these other ones, but we're going to configure other. And in configure other, we're going to give it a name. You don't have to do this, but you can, you know, and you can give it a web password. So this screen is password protected if you want. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to bother with that. I'll, all I'm going to do is change this to be the same as we call the, the host name. So I'm going to call it xplug1. And offend the name again. Keep, I usually keep it the same. X plug one. So if you got X plug two, X plug three, uh, it's, and that's going to change the name up there from standard Tasmota. If you want it to be picked up by um, to use voice control for this, you can actually select Hue Bridge and save. And then when it reboots, you can ask Alexa to discover new devices, and you can then control the thing through voice. But that's outside of the scope of this little video. So we click on save, and again, it says it's going to restart in a few seconds. If we click on, yeah, we just have to wait for it. There we go. It only takes a couple of seconds to restart. And if you notice now, it says X plug one up there, and that's it. That's done. So now, if you refer back to the other one, we can control this one on and off. Yeah, so you can do it from the splash screen here, so I can turn it on and off from there as well. But uh, Primarily, the main thing is you can now control that from a playlist, as you can see in the previous videos. And you've got the, I said that little extra op option that when it's switched on, it will measure. I've just put a very low load on there, so it's a, it's a, it's you know, one watt. <laughs> so you can keep an eye on your power consumption. You can see what the ampage, what the volt, what the wattage is. Again, what the, the this is the UK, so it's two fifty two volts on this one. Uh, but you can also see the kilowatt usage for the day and all the rest of it, which is a nice little, nice little bonus for uh, monitoring what power your uh, x light display uses over a period of time. Yep, and that's it. Um, nice and simple. Hope that was helpful, and uh, cheers. Cheers for now.